Good morning, everyone. It is day 57 of the Australian Rugby Challenge. We've been at the beach this morning. We have. There was severe weather warnings, so we decided to get up early and go to the beach because that's what we do because we're somewhat crazy. And now we're being blown away in this severe weather. I'm not sure it's that severe. It's quite sunny. Good morning, Koopy Doopy. Um, I've lost your halter, so we're going to borrow Wranglers for a minute. Yeah. You have to stay here and eat some grass. You have to stay in your yard and eat some grass. You're not coming with me. You have to stay in here. You stay in there. Good. Now, wait there. So I'm going to close this. Good boy. Yesterday we worked on training my inside leg a little bit better. We got Cooper sidestepping away from my inside leg into the open space next to him. So today I wanna to work on helping Cooper stay a little bit more straight and balanced. We're gonna work on bending Cooper around my inside leg. Really. Bending Cooper around my inside leg to find the contact of my outside rein. When Cooper finds my outside rein, only then am I going to let him follow that rein forwards. Um, I have some nifty little patterns for this. I actually learnt this off Camp Drafter and his name's Ian. He changed my life. Um, and now he's gonna change Cooper's life. If Cooper goes to walk away when I get on, I use bending rein, stop seat just like he's done on the ground a thousand times. If Cooper goes to take off when Hale hits the roof, I use bending rein, stop seat, just like he's done on the ground a thousand times. This is by far the best exercise to teach a horse to move away from the inside leg and find the outside rein. Finding the outside rein gets him balanced to make the turn. By using my inside leg to outside rein, I don't have to pull the inside rein and pull Cooper off balance to turn right. Oh, boy. 